Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Wow. That was ominous. A tape. Oh, God. Play on air. So if this is a message from the killer, I am not going to do this. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay, here we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Killer Frequency. Hey, if you haven't seen the last video, we pretty much killed two people already. And, uh, uh, it's not going out too well for us at the moment. So we ended it off when Peggy started asking us questions about our life. So, let's go answer some of these. Alright, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. <laughs> You're sorry. <laughs> You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not, I only- I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. <laughs> huh, I'm not gonna answer that, that's, that's slack. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. No. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Sorry, I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, man. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay, I think she's forgotten that there's a bit of a murderer. Okay, okay well, here's the key. No, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, man. Ah. Oh. Wow. That was ominous. A tape. Oh god. Play on air. I swear, if this is a message from the killer, I am not going to do this. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Peggy. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. Alright. Put it on, I guess. Let's see what it is. Ooh, okay, here we go. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a mix of all of the things that we said, me and Peggy. So, if this is the killer trying to communicate to everyone, they're listening into the radio station. Oh my god! I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Play a record, Forrest. 
Okay. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You stopped the show for a tape? Just go get it. <sighs> I mean, she could just give it to me, man. I'm going to have a bunch of tapes on my desk after this. Or try your call again. Ugh, straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Nope, I don't know who the hell this is. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Uh, alright, whatever. Back downstairs to get a stupid track. <laughs> so many locked doors, so few keys. Wait, what's this? Hmm, hang on. Wait. This might be useful later. You know what? We might use this time to actually find stuff. So let's see what's going on here. What's back here? Oh. Uh, this looks like a murderer corner or something. Cause look at all this stuff. What is this all about? Okay, well I couldn't find anything interesting. So I'm gonna go take this back upstairs then. Because I have a feeling this will be useful later on in the story. So just in case, I'll put this up there. Hang on, what's this? Bob. I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. What? This is a breakup letter. What the hell? No, 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 no. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Found it. Okay. Final breath. Here it is. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's <laughs> the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Oh, no. Hang on. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy. 
Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Grooming. Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Wait, what? No. Guess what? This is a really bad idea, man. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. He's gonna die. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. All right. We got a player in here. How about... Ah, this one seems right. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. And a Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. Okay, well, like while that's playing... Who after years take some time to actually see what we can do here cart right man out of a job teddy gallows jr believes in the american dream so that murphy guy is heading off to the junkyard help teddy gallows jr keep gallows creek my name is teddy gallows jr and i approve this message god what a jackass 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Before we well, do... We got a caller. You know what to do. Yep, I do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> the hell? Hello? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? Mm, not really. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. We have to save this one. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Yes, they're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Well, that's helpful. Um... Don't be a child. These are, these are like the best damn like lines in this game. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Oh, this is going in the bin. I like the flow. The flow's alright. Peggy. What places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. 
Oh, and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> That's it, I think. Let's get calling. I think it's Ponty's Pizza, because, I mean, it would be a massive hint, because he called before. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks. Peggy! I don't want to keep going outside, man. God, where to start? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... Okay, we've got the staff here now, so we can head behind reception. And see whether that gives us any information or... Hopefully something. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Alright, we're looking for any takeaway things, so... Oh, easy. Plenty of digging through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Alright, well, I'm gonna go take this upstairs then. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have to save this person, alright? We have to save at least one person in this entire run, because I swear, if everyone dies, and it's my fault... Peggy. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? I think this is a good choice. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Hey, dude, what's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Um. I need some garlic bread. I need the bread! Can you? Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. <laughs> and now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Oh, this is a really basic cover. Let's try this one. Oh, that sounds right. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Okay, well, we don't really need this box anymore, so I'm just gonna put all the junk right in this corner. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right, not Ponty. <laughs> He's not Ponty. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Here we go. Time to turn the music off. Oh, come on. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, 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 this is Fratman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? Oh, no. <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Bunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no fool. Uh, listen, I need you to- Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> oh, let me 
get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the two. So, play us the flow. Yes, Wait. this is the best song, bro. Easy. Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Plunker's moving the house. Okay, good. Forrest, line two. What? Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh my God, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Oh, okay, good, they made it. The party has arrived! Oh, thank God. He's gone and... Oh! Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Don't worry, we brought the beer. Good times are here. I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. Oh my God, and we did it! thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Oh, hi! Yes! Okay, listen. This is my first person I've ever saved on this game. I am really happy. I am so glad I've done that. Oh my god. This is massive, alright? Because everyone so far has died, and I'm really sorry to those people, but this is massive. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Oh. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Hmm. Do we give the guy a shout out or? You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So, it's my life. Hmm. It's trying to push me to give him a shout out. Is this Ponty? I think this is the pizza guy. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty! I knew it! I knew it! Cut the line, Biggie! Cut the line! Bigby, cut the line. God damn it, Ponty! No! No free ads! <sighs> I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. See, I thought that sounded a bit like someone on me. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? What? Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting 
for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Hey, Ollie. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Well, listen, I, I've got the map, so we've already been prepared for this. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. Here's some rustling. I guess she came after all. Mm. Molly! I'm in the middle! Oh, why would you alert it? It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. You idiot! Oh. Molly can't whistle. No, no! This is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Do you know the way out? Because we, we've got the map, so we don't have to, like, muck around and look for it. Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right! I- Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I- I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry! Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, Here's a track for all you lovers out there. There we go. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Maybe we should call Barbara then, if she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. Peggy. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. I've got That'll it. That'll hopefully be enough. I've got it here. Hang on. I've got it. Trust me. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. Oh. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Wait, cross sec. Where is he? Hang on, hang on, hang on. One and two. Here we go. He's over here somewhere. He's at the crossroad, facing the tractor statue, and the gold hay bales are to his right. So, so he's facing one. Hay bales are on his right, so that's two. Hold up. Let's just follow this map real quick. Hold on. So he's here. If he goes backwards, he's lost. He's gone. Go backwards, go left, go right, go forward. Okay, I see the route. I see it. It goes all the way through here. To four and three. And he goes left. He has to follow this whole little loop de loop thing at seven and six. Yeah, from nine he goes around this little outside here and he's done. Go, go left. Forward, go left. He's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. He went this way, this way, this way. Okay, he's here now. He's here. Okay, four and three. Okay, good. It's working out for us. Pig statue is... Where is it? Pig statue is in front of him. Backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, God. Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Pitchfork statue up ahead. So he's looking at this. This little... Long streak thing over here. I don't even know what to call that. He has to go left. Go left. left.
for this poor kid. Uh, there's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Mm -hmm. Nothing to my sides. He's here. He's over here. This little, like, basically in front of the eight, which is the barn. So if he's facing that, right, he has to go right. Go right. Come on. I can't run much more. Come on, you got this kid. I just passed a corn silo. Didn't see anything else. Nine. Corn silo. Corn silo. Go forward. He's over here, I think, so. Go forward. What the hell? Where do I go? Left. Go left. Okay. I'm going. Wait. No. You don't have to do this. Oh no. Ah! I think I'm going to be sick. I guess that's what love does. It makes us fall to pieces. I just don't forest, okay? Don't. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Well, this is not going well. <sighs> we don't need this anymore. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here, guys. Now, we've actually got a call on the line. So, if you would like to see me answer this call in the next video... Be sure to smack that like button and subscribe. We'll check this out in the next video. Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we won't kill this person. Alright. <laughs> see you guys.